Back home Saturday for the one and four Bryant Bulldogs, a team that's really competed well so far this season, just hasn't gotten the results it's wanted. Saturday, though, was a chance for Chris Merritt's group to string some good things together in all phases and get back in the win column. The Bulldogs hosting Division II Southern Connecticut State at Burns Stadium Saturday, looking to bounce back from a loss last week to first quarter, first drive. Bryant offense getting off to a quick start. Screen to Ishad Byram. And I said the word quick because that's exactly what this guy is. The Owls just can't stop him before he scurries 31 yards for the score. 7-0 Bulldogs take the early lead. Visitors did give the dogs a little hiccup with an interception and a field goal later in the first, but in the second, Bryant gets back on the board when Ryan Clark clears the goal line for the short TD here. He had two on the day, the first making it 14-3 home team. And after that, the Bulldogs starting to really cook mid-second. Zevi Eckhouse goes up top for his go-to guy, Anthony Frederick. He makes a great catch, no surprise. He had over 100 yards receiving on the day. That grab sets up the first of two TDs for Gary Cooper. Eckhouse hits him for the 16-yard connection here to make it 21-3 at the time. Bryant ends up with 623 yards of total offense and runs away with things in a 56-10 victory. It was great to see us get our running game going today on offense. Um, it was great to uh, get up and down the field, help the kids execute on third down especially very well. And then defensively, it was great to see uh, getting some turnovers. A couple uh, interceptions there, and we just need to keep this thing on track and get ready for this next opponent.